the trust in, in media and newspapers and television is you know, hitting an all-time low. People don't trust us, they don't believe us, and it makes me wonder if this job, as I'm currently doing it, is effective. Uh, but if it's doing more harm than good. Interesting comment there. That's the MSNBC anchor Katie Turr reacting to Americans' lack of confidence in the media. A new Gallup poll shows it's hitting an all-time low with a tiny fraction trusting what they read in the newspaper or what they see on television. Joe Concha, media analyst for here, uh, for us here. Nice to see you, Joe. Good morning. Good morning. Are you surprised by her comment? Why don't we begin there? Well, Katie Turr, you may remember November 2021, it was revealed that she was exchanging text messages with a Democratic strategist while on the air. Let me share this one. I'm texting with Katie Turr. This was according to Andrew Cuomo's advisor. Andrew Cuomo was governor at the time. Liz Smith, uh, she wrote, Katie is saying my spin live, like verbatim, unquote. So, yeah, why would we trust a Katie Turr mm -hmm. if that's happening while she's on the air? The perception is horrible. And an Axios poll really breaks this down. We'll strip out Republicans and Democrats out of the poll in terms of voters and look at independents solely. Eight in 10 independents believe that journalists or those in the media report stories they know to be false or misleading at least sometimes. So this isn't an all shucks, we got it wrong thing. This is the perception that some in media are now pushing narratives they know aren't true. Racist Covington kids attack Native American elder. Donald Trump ignores Russian bounties on U.S. troops. Hunter Biden laptop is Russian disinformation. Or the 2022 winner, and it's only July, but this already wins, mm -hmm. Ron DeSantis. He has a parental rights and education bill. What do you see every headline call it? Don't say gay yeah. bill, despite the fact gay is not in that document even once. The good news is that most voters support DeSantis on this, so no one really trusts the messenger anymore, despite that kind of smear. It's campaign. interesting when you bring up the independents, because yeah. that is actually the, the majority of the country now says that they are independent. And and that they're all feeling that way, um, there is a, a broad agreement. Might be the most bipartisan agreement that yeah. we have in the country. The Hard other thing find. is President Trump, uh, he has pushed back on the Pulitzer Prizes that a lot of the newspapers and uh, other media companies got for their coverage of the Russia hoax, yeah. right? That's what he wants to call it. So he called on them to remove the awards in October. Here's a uh, call for number two. This is President Trump says, I call on the Pulitzer Prize Board to immediately rescind the 2018 Pulitzer Prize for National Reporting awarded to the staffs of The New York Times and The Washington Post, which was based on false reporting of a non-existent link between the Kremlin and the Trump campaign. The Pulitzer Prize Committee says they are not going to do that. This is their statement. Both reviews were conducted by individuals with no connection to the institutions whose work was under examination nor any connection to each other. The separate reviews converged in their conclusions that no passages or headlines, contentions or assertions in any of the winning submissions were discredited by facts that emerged subsequent to the conferral of the prizes. That's a lot of words and some big words are used in there at the Pulitzer Prize yeah. Committee, but to basically say we're not going to do it and we found no evidence that it would be warranted. I read that quote and hear you say it, and I, all I can think of is Naked Gun and Leslie yes. Nielsen. There's a fireworks factory exploding behind him. He's saying, <laughs> nothing to see here, you know, all is well. You know, do, do not panic. Uh, look, um, in order for the Pulitzer Committee to remove these awards, they would have to admit that they were wrong, and therefore the Washington Post and New York Times were wrong in this reporting. If they were right, then I would imagine that the House Speaker, Nancy Pelosi, would have drawn up articles of impeachment immediately on a Russian connection with the Trump campaign, and that never happened. And as we've seen with the Democratic Congress, they were not shy in impeaching Donald Trump over other things, but there was no there there. If there was, there would have been an article of impeachment. On Requesting it. clearance, Clarence. <laughs> Something like Roger, that. Roger, Roger. <laughs> thank you, Joe. Nice to see you. Great Joe to see you both. Us today. And I love your, your sock wear. It's oh, thank beautiful. You, it's summertime, right? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like oh my it's gosh, summer. Joe just busted him. That was it's all right. brilliant. Well, it's I'm wearing pants, all right? <laughs> There are pants. That's true. <laughs> That's great. All right. Thanks, also, Joe. the